and I will fight him <laughs> fucking tomorrow. So it's been a week. Motherfucker, let's go. Did you hear that one, Michael? If you were to somehow accept this fight, which I know you won't because you're a pussy, that's how he would look, okay? And he knows it. What's up guys? John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. In today's video, I'm gonna give an update on the Michael Sartain drama. I'm going to expose his real height. Okay, what he says publicly is a lie about his height and we're gonna show proof of that. And number three, I'm gonna show a screenshot of someone who knows someone who hangs out with Sartain and said that guy has no fucking fighting abilities. Okay, but that doesn't stop him from running his mouth. So to update you guys from my last video about Sartain about a week ago, where I accepted his fight challenge and I showed screenshot proof of him running scared, trying to make excuses, okay, saying, oh, well, why don't we just debate instead? After he challenged me to a fight and I immediately accepted, he says, oh, let's do a debate. Then he says, oh, maybe we can do it in a few months because I'm busy with events, which is complete bullshit. And he's just fucking running away because he's a pussy. And that's what pussies do. So it's been a week and he has not responded still to the acceptance. His last thing was a week ago where he's like, oh, we can maybe look in a few months. Yet on camera and we'll play the clips. He's like, I'll fight him fucking tomorrow. And I will fight him fucking tomorrow. He's like, anytime, any place I've issued the challenge, I've put out the gauntlet, watch him not respond, watch him duck my my challenge, right? And I'm like, motherfucker, let's go. And I message Spencer Cornelia, who's a mutual friend of ours with me and Sartain. And I'm like, yo, give me his number. And he's like, let me check. We'll put up the screenshot here. And he's like, oh, Sartain says he doesn't want to give his number out. Okay. I'm like, I'm accepting, accepting his fight challenge. fight challenge. So I message on Instagram and I'm like, let's do this motherfucker. I'm six foot four, 220 pounds. I'm not afraid of this guy. I'm not afraid to get in the ring with him. He's lying about his height anyways. I have a big reach advantage and size advantage. Okay, he's a little oh angry beaver that's uh, good friends with Crystal Hefner. So everyone should be really impressed. Okay, or that he was an Air Force captain and, and didn't do jack shit. Okay, of note in the Air Force, but he thinks he deserves all this admiration and all this stuff. He can't even fucking stand up to his girl that punked him hardcore on a live podcast. Okay, let's roll that clip in case you didn't see that. I think we heard every third she word said, you said. Can't we yeah. talk about something yeah. else because we've been on this for 20 minutes straight. Did you hear that one, Michael? Okay, here we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna shout out everyone on Twitch. Eric, can you pull up the Twitch? Jeremy, we'll get to that in a sec. Thank you, man. Appreciate. So after that clip came out, okay, <laughs> I showed everybody what a huge pussy this guy is. Not to mention he's peddling snake oil. He's pushing all this social circle nonsense, having guys do creepy, manipulative stuff like make fake charities and then DM a whole bunch of Instagram models and invite them to these fake charity events and. That's supposed to work. It doesn't. Newsflash. Sounds good. A lot of guys, I've talked to a lot of people that went through his program, they're all getting great photo bombing opportunities where they're friend zoned completely, but they're in pictures with all these beautiful girls. Okay. Or a lot of times the girls aren't even that beautiful, but these guys are going to elaborate lengths, spending a bunch of money on these events and lying their asses off. Okay. He's teaching the, the guys how to manipulate girls. And not to mention the guys aren't fucking these girls. They're just taking a bunch of pictures with them. Okay. It's just like the fucking Andrew Tate bullshit. In the real world, they take all these pictures out. And it's just a bunch of bald guys smoking cigars and sipping whiskeys. Okay, there's not a girl in sight. To the contrary, the Sartain Smoke and Mirrors model, you have all these guys photobombing with girls that they're not fucking. Okay, I've talked to lots of the guys. They're like, yeah, we spent a whole bunch of money. We went to these elaborate lengths. We set up these events, these fake charity events, right? He literally teaches you to do that. And they're not fucking the girls. And these guys aren't getting laid. And then they come to my program to actually learn how to get girls and how to actually do cold approach. Okay. Speaking of which, we just ran a Valentine's Day sale for 50% off. A few people messaged and said they were still getting the money together. I'm going to leave those links up through the end of the weekend. They'll be in the description and in the pinned comment. Okay. If you want to take advantage of 50% off my major two products. Sartain is still a pussy. Radio silent the whole week after dodging. Okay. I showed the whole internet, embarrassed the fuck out of him. And I know a bunch of people were like messaging him. I heard from a bunch of people that, that, are in his circles and they're like, yeah, we're telling him to accept, you know, he's the one that challenged me, right? It's like, can the original challenge issuer accept his challenge back now that the opposition has accepted? The whole thing's fucking like, it's a master course on how to be a fucking huge pussy, okay? He's teaching the internet how to do that. Oh, I'll be a big tough guy behind the camera. Oh, I'll fight him, I'll fight him tomorrow. I'll fight him right now, I'll, 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 I'll knock him out. Okay, 
Let's go. I said it. I accepted it. And he's just running, running, running. Oh, I can't speak to you directly. Uh, you don't need my number. Arrange a debate through Spencer. Uh, we can revisit this in a few. It's like, motherfucker, you're scared. You're a pussy. You know I would embarrass you in front of the whole internet, which I already have done, showing your pussy true colors. But if you were to somehow accept this fight, which I know you won't because you're a pussy, I would embarrass him. He would be knocked out on the mat. It would look like Sean Strickland versus Sneeko. Okay, Mr. Air Force Captain would be flat on his fucking back with his dumb beaver face cocked to the side like this. That's how he would look, okay? And he knows it. These guys are just people that are trying to be theoretically cool, theoretically alpha, theoretically tough guys. They're like, okay, uh, what would the coolest guy ever do? His girl can't look at other men in public. Uh, she can't order her own food. You know, I'm unaffected. I'm, I'm, I'm unaffected no matter how much disrespect comes my way, right? The girl openly disrespected him right on the podcast. Let's play the clip again. Did you hear that one, Michael? Did you hear that one, Michael? He was a pussy, said nothing, didn't stand up for himself at all. The only thing that he did was go, babe, babe. <laughs> That's how Mr. Tough Guy really acts. And then the host show, who's also a huge pussy that just wears dumb flannels, he says, Michael, are you going to allow that? And then Michael says, oh, well. Oh, well. And what's going on there, as dumb as that looks, he's like, uh, uh, well, a cool guy couldn't be affected by that. So, uh, you know, I'm just going to play it cool. It's like, okay, sure, buddy. What a fucking dumbass. And then his girl looks like Michael Jackson. You can pop up that meme if you haven't seen that yet. Did you hear it? That time, Michael. Did you hear that one, Michael? All right, so the height, this is from Reddit, okay, the Fresh Fit Pod thread. Claims against Michael Sartain's real height. I don't agree with the following, but as you know, most people were suspect of Michael Sartain's self-reported height of six foot one. I've met this motherfucker in person. He is not six one. He's a little boy. As he previously would say on his dating podcasts. However, some interesting developments have happened in a couple of the latest events he hosted in Nevada and California. Apparently, a couple of the girls at the event that he knows, but to be unnamed for confidentiality, got a little tipsy and were overheard saying he wishes he was six feet. <laughs> Wow, what a surprise. A guy that's peddling snake oil and fucking harming tons of men that partnered with one of the biggest scammers in the whole space, Rolo Tomasi, that's also a huge pussy and has shown his true colors to the internet and gets disrespected massively, is also lying about his height. I'm shocked. So it appears one of the girls mentioned that he is actually 5'11". During their drunken speak, the girls also mentioned that he avoids taking photos <laughs> standing next to any men taller than him. Why? Because the theoretical cool guy is taller than everyone he knows. Apparently he tries really hard. Okay, read that again. Tries really hard. Okay, there's a, a short form version of that phrase that's used around the pickup community. It's called try hard. Okay, try hard fucking bitch. That's how, exactly how Andrew Tate acts. Okay, he's like, oh, I, I never would cry. I, I've never shown emotion or felt. It's like, motherfucker, you're going to cry when there's huge Romanian dicks fucking poking your inner organs. Okay, because they're deep inside your little butthole. During their drunken speak, <laughs> okay, they, they don't take photos. He doesn't take photos with men taller than him, okay? Apparently, he tries really hard to take photos only sitting down when next to other men. What a fucking dumbass, right? Most of his photos are next to shorter women. <laughs> Imagine looking up to a total fucking retard like that, okay? And again, no pun intended, but you wouldn't actually be looking up to him. You'd be looking down at him. Down at that little fucking pussy. I've seen him standing around in clubs by himself in Vegas, just like looking terrified. Okay, that's why he doesn't cold approach because he's a giant pussy. So instead, he goes to elaborate lengths to get in pictures with girls. And then he's like, oh, look, uh, you all can have uh, this life too of, of pictures with girls. And guys are like, great, I can't wait to fuck those girls. And he's like, uh, yeah, it's just pictures, but yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, that's, yeah, that's what we're doing here. We're having sex. No, 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 no. Okay, those guys are not fucking girls for most of the time. What's happening, Jason Capital did the exact same thing. Jason Capital, for those of you that haven't been around the community for a while, he was caught posting ads on Craigslist saying girls wanted, models wanted for lifestyle shoots. He was paying them 400 a pop. They would all pose next to him and he'd be like, eh, and they'd be like, you guys want to be like this too? And everyone's like, yeah, that looks great. Okay, of course, anyone want, would want to be banging these girls. Okay, that's the fine print. These girls in the Jason Capital shoot were paid models. The Smoke and Mirrors looks terrific on social media for those that want to sign up and live that life. Patrick Red, the little dork with the Coke bottle glasses, he was fucking pulling the same shit down in fucking Colombia and got chased out of Colombia. Max Tornov, formerly RST Max, who runs a full-blown business scam called Freedom Business Mentoring, tried to put false copyright strikes on my channel once I exposed him. There was a girl 
that was part of the lifestyle shoots that Max was organizing. Beans were spilled and I exposed it all on my channel. And she said, we're all just like taught or told how to act and how to behave on camera. And Max was promising them a better life in Germany and Austria. So it's all fucking smoke and mirrors. In reality, Max is just a little dork that plays video games that smells like shit because he doesn't take care of himself or adhere to basic hygiene that plays Call of Duty. That's who Max really is. That's who Fresh Prince CEO really is. I had a girl on my channel that lived in the same building. She's like, yeah, all the girl's friends on fresh. He's like a teddy bear. He plays video games all the time. I'm like, wow, what a surprise. Okay. The guy's been caught lying a hundred times, can't form a sentence and has one receipt who's a huge fat whale. And that was his ex-wife. Okay. I got to show that to the world. But then on camera, he's like, oh, 1500 a year, bro. Facts. It's like, sure, bro. Keep wearing that CEO chain. Then we had fucking David Bond running around and, and Bradicus exposed that. Bradicus is like, yeah, uh, David was posing next to girls that I was fucking and like telling them how to act for the camera. And I'm like, David, what are you doing? He's like, no, this will look really good for the camera. It's like, wow, what a surprise. A complete cocksucker that has like eight countries after him, that has the police after him, that people want him dead all over the world. He had to legally change his name to fucking avoid going to jail or getting killed. That guy is having girls pose in shoots, even though I know that his game blows anyways. I didn't even need Bradicus to confirm that, right? There's zero game there. He's paying girls Bitcoin cash. I expose that in third world countries like the Philippines and then instructing them how to act on camera and saying, oh, look, this is all I'm, I'm, a, I'm a game god and I'm running all this here. Fuck off. OK, it's super disrespectful to guys that actually are capable of fucking tons of hot girls all around the world that have 1,250 testimonials on a page, getting the best results in the industry and showing the most proof of it. Then you have all these little dweebs running around teaching guys how to photobomb pictures with models so that they can get other guys. It's an it's a genius business model. Everyone from the outside is like, wow, these guys are all fucking models. No, they're all taking pictures with models. There's a huge fucking difference in case you didn't realize it from the from the various people I just went through. Getting all this shit set up on camera for social media so they can lure in suckers to rip off is different from getting guys to regularly fuck new hot girls, which is what I'm doing. Huge difference. Anyone can go and fake all this other shit. And I'm going to cover <laughs> one last thing about Sartain's fighting abilities. But I want to encourage you, if you missed the sale, the 50% off Occam's and Leaves Machine sale, you can get on the link in the description of the pinned comment and take advantage of the sale through the end of the weekend. The fighting comment, which we'll put up on the screen, Sartain works with a friend of mine who's a BJJ black belt, and I can assure you the dude can't fight. He's also on a podcast getting completely disrespected by his girl and he does nothing because he's a pussy. I've, again, I've been saying this shit for years and people are like, no, he's the coolest. He knows Crystal Hefner. It's like, dude, look who he fucking works with. His business partner's Rolo Tomasi, like the biggest scammer in the manosphere. Does that give you a hint? Oh, look, he used to be huge buddy buddy with RSD and Owen Cook, okay, who ripped off countless people and have over 70 products fucking robbing people blind. Does that give you a hint? How about him affiliating with Fresh and Fit and Jay Wall? and Modern Life Dating. Okay, Modern Life Dating smashed a bottle over a girl's face. Modern Life Dating had leaked texts come out about how he looks forward to sipping a latte through the streets while girls are being raped openly in the streets. This is who he's associating with, okay, with the fucking Charleston white guy. Let's play a few clips from the Charleston white guy. We used to run trains on white girls. Uh, uh, <laughs> choo choo! Uh, She's we, got a Robin Hood. Uh, uh, we used to do it uh, without permission. So it's not like she came over and said, hey, I want to sleep with all you guys. Yeah. We say, hey, man, that white girl like you. Get over here. And then we uh put. Oh, oh yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we just come in with dicks out. We forcibly used to white girls. We used to put crack in their cigarettes. I wanted to see what white people look like dying. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen all the slave movies. Look what kind of piece of shit that he's associating with. Okay, a guy that's openly admitting to drugging and raping girls. <laughs> the girl will say, stop. I say I'm not. Whoa. The girl will say, stop. I say I'm not. And it goes on and on. He's associating with Ty Lopez, who's a giant business scammer. It goes on and on and on and on and on. He's fucking in videos with Max Tornov, who I just talked about, that's paying girls to fucking be in lifestyle shoots out in Ukraine. Don't fall into the trap of the glitz and glamour smoke and mirrors of like, oh yeah, social circle will solve all your problems. I'm a veteran at this. I've been optimizing the best system in the game for over 20 years. Okay, nobody has a second best system that's even remotely close to mine. That's not my opinion. That's not arrogance. That's objective fact. And I have all the proof to back it up from a real expert in a field with real results dominating far above everyone okay watching the fucking clown show let's put up a picture of the fucking recent clown show okay that we've been seeing 
across the manosphere. Okay, we have fucking Lucario who's getting punked out by an ugly middle-aged chick. He's letting her get fucked by other guys. Okay, we have fucking Pew Beard Ice White who's going to end up with a lawsuit because he continues to dox my full legal name and try to incite violence against me through that fucking Michael Collins psycho. Other fucking bullshit things like defamation. And he's hosting people who regularly defame me on his show like Michael Sartain. Okay, so he'll find out what happens if he keeps fucking around. And then look at the rest of these guys. This fucking Brandon kid looks like a special needs student. Okay, he's a nobody that's being platformed now. Well, you already know about fucking little pussy Sartain. <laughs> and then we got fucking Justin Mark up in the corner who called me for coaching okay, in 2018 and said he hadn't even hit 100 lay count yet. I've shown you videos breaking down his game. It's god awful. He's speaking with rising intonation. Basically, almost all of his interactions go like this. Hi, I'm Justin. I'm from Canada. I love you. Let's get married. Sounds like a fucking like demented tickle me Elmo. That stupid fuck. Okay, acts like he's like Tupac or something like that. Getting neck tats and like acting hard and all this stuff. He's a little fucking puss too. It's embarrassing to be in the same industry as these guys. I don't see anything in common with them at all. Okay, they're getting cucked. They're fucking scamming and ripping off guys. They're faking an entire lifestyle and persona online. Okay, they're giving out all kinds of nonsensical tips. And they're not even the slightest bit close to like cool guys or alpha guys. And that's exactly why they're not getting hot girls and they have no receipts and all that stuff. You guys should fucking see with your own eyes what's going on in front of you. I put up several hundred hot girl receipts with girls in hookup situations. These guys have none. Okay, but they all band together and they're all okay with each other doing fucked up shit. Sartain has no qualms with people that are off raping, off drugging, that are openly scamming, that are getting fucking kicked off YouTube like Jay Waller for preying on, on young impressionable men. And it goes on and on and on and on. Okay, I stand up against all that shit. I don't associate with any of those motherfuckers. That's not because of hate. It's not because of jealousy. It's because they're just fucking bad people and they're full of shit and I can spot it a mile away. Okay, and I try to show you guys through many videos how you can see it too. It's right in front of your face. Look at Sartain's behavior. Even after I called him out publicly and embarrassed him in front of the whole internet, he's still radio silent all week. He's hoping this shit will just blow over. It won't. I'm going to keep fucking hammering him with videos. There's a whole lot of fucking ammo still. This guy's a sitting duck because he's corrupt and full of all this fucking scam nonsense. And I'm going to keep showing all of it. Let Michael make up whatever fucking excuse he wants to make for continuing to dodge the fight challenge that he issued. Okay, it should be obvious now that the guy's a massive fucking puss. Pussy, 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 yeah. pussy, pussy, pussy. And if you want to go get trained by that man of action, okay, quite contrary, quite ironic because he's like the exact opposite, knock yourself out. But he's causing endless damage in the space with his partner Rolo. They're running ads now and all this shit. It's like injecting poison. You want to go soak up that poison and, and, and worship a guy that's getting fucking shit on and building up this whole smoke and mirrors thing. Go take some pictures with girls. If, you, if that'll make you happy, go take some pictures with girls. You can flex to your friends. Hey, look at all these cool girls I'm with. Oh, cool. Uh, how many of those did you fuck? Oh, well, zero, but uh, you know, they came to my fake charity event. Sure. Go knock yourself out. Okay. He'd love to take your money for that. I'll be here turning out guys that are hitting their dream dating goals within a couple weeks. Okay, that's what I do over and over and over and over. You can check out our proof page with the link in the description to see over 1,250 testimonials. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Get on those sale links or get on a free 30-minute call to learn how you can train with me. And make sure you let me know what you think about all this in the comments. Watch the video on the end screen where I go over the whole Sartain fight drama. Pretty good video. If you haven't seen it yet, make sure you like the video and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on a video soon. Take care. Take a look at the scores. I put numbers up on the boards. I'm in a section with models, and you're at the bar trying to get out of cluster of fours. Fixed trauma factor, I'm a boss tycoon. My dick smell like two chicks before noon.